That's the integrate tangent x times secant to a circle x. And if you want to work with secant and tangent, this is how we are going to do it. Also, there's another way to do it, but let's just focus on secant and tangent. The idea is that this is tangent to a first power, secant to a third power, and this is an odd number power, right? Well, this is a trick. How about let me just take out one of the secant? Let me look at this as the following. This is the same as the integral. Tangent x stays the same, but let me break this apart as secant x and then secant squared x dx. And of course, this and that are the same, so I didn't change anything. And the reason for that is because, now I look at this, this is tangent x secant x, and that's exactly the derivative of secant x. If I would like to use the u substitution, that will do the work already. I'm going to let u equals to secant x. This is kind of like the inside function, because here we have secant x and then to a second power. And then I differentiate this, I will get du equals to secant x tangent x dx, right? And then I want to show you guys the cancellation. So let me isolate dx, and I will get du over secant x tangent x. And now, if you take this integral into the u world, you will get integral of tangent x secant x tangent x secant x. And then this secant, let me write it as u square. So we have the u square, and the dx is du over that, du over secant x tangent x. And you see, this and that will cancel each other out, right? And now the question is just, how do you integrate u square in the u world? Of course, this is going to be one third u to the third power, but then of course we also know that u is equal to secant x. So we are done. After we replace the secant to u, we have altogether one third secant to a third power x plus c. This is the answer. That's it.